Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be racking a GE Magna Blast, a 5KV Gen 4. And I'd like to show you all of the tools and equipment that are required for that. And first up is our portable kit, that is in which includes the motor, which is powered by just an M18 Milwaukee battery. The handheld device that the operator uses to uh, rack in and out. 50 foot cable that can be tethered together with two other cables to reach a distance of up to 150 feet if necessary and then of course the battery charger. All of this comes inside a hard case here that is weather resistant and weatherproof and this is everything that we're going to need along with a bracket to rack the Magna Blast. This is our smart drive bracket color code stout that interfaces directly with the Magna Blast breaker. It mounts on existing motor mounts right here using two pins and a lock and a latch device right here. Go ahead and set that in place. Lock that down. And then you can see back here we have a ring that comes up over the clutch handle and it has an automa automated clutch engage. Now, once that's in place, we take our M18 motor drive unit and the M18 battery and mount it right inside these mounting rings here. Once the motor's in place, we connect it. We connect the uh, bracket and the motor. Plug into the breaker. And with each one of these breakers comes a limit tilt, a inclinometer, a tilt detection device. This can be mounted either horizontally or vertically on the breaker box and it plugs right into the breaker as well. Once we have everything connected and the limit tilts in place, we're going to connect our 50 foot comm cable. and plug into our handheld controller. You can see here that each one of these brackets is equipped with a smart card and it tells us exactly what we're going to break right there under Magna Blast and then we're going to go through a safety checklist here. So we verify that the battery has at least four bars. We uh, verify we're a safe distance from the equipment. And then we're going to rack from disconnect to connect. You can see we can toggle here between these. We're in disconnect right now, so we're going to go to connect. You can see the automated clutch arm sets that in place. And then we have a tool engage right before the racking process. the clutch arm and the operation is complete and the breaker is in connect we're able to power down at that point we disconnect our handheld controller disconnect the motor drive unit comes out very simply unplug our limit tilt Unplug from the breaker, unlatch our bracket, and we're set to go. This is specifically called our no mod design where no modifications have to be made to the breaker whatsoever. You can see we're in connect now and how simple it was to rack in and out with this SRU system.